For the past 60 years, WDBJ has been the number one television station here in Roanoke. People have such a strong connection to the CBS station that they see the company's employees almost like family. For many who watched the murders live on TV yesterday, it was like watching friends lose their lives. Just to show our love and our respect. You can see feelings of sadness expressed throughout the region, from Rocky Mount, near where the shootings happened, to Roanoke. Uh, it's just overwhelming. At WDBJ, people brought in a steady stream of gifts and sentiments. When you wake up in the morning, you feel like you're waking up, you know, to somebody you know. Wednesday morning, during a live interview, former WDBJ employee Vester Lee Flanagan shot and killed photojournalist Adam Ward and reporter Allison Parker. I loved her, her on live broadcasts. They were so personal and so um, in depth. WDBJ General Manager Jeff Marks said there is no truth to any of the allegations Flanagan made against employees or the station. I'm angry um, at cowardice. I'm angry at the system which um, didn't have a place for this man to be taken care of. I'm angry for lives cut short. I'm angry for all the people in my building who are suffering. Please join us now in a moment of silence. Choking back tears, the morning news team got through today's broadcast, focusing on their job at hand to deliver the news and serve this community. It's not just our loss, it's, it's this whole area's loss. You know, they're from this area. They're, they have roots in this area. The anguish and sadness over two lives cut short, shared by a city and beyond. We are a community. We are a family. If we're not, then what are we doing here? What are we doing on this earth? I, I don't understand what's happening in this country. In Roanoke, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.